Hello. By the time you're watching this, it's Christmas Eve or later. And I want to wish you all a very festive, merry, happy, healthy, lovely Christmas if you celebrate or just time if you don't. It's, it's December 23rd and this, I don't know, we all woke up, all three of us. Winnie woke up in her usual Winnie self, but the other three of us, me and the kids, woke up a little bit cranky today. <laughs> like, and nothing's wrong, everybody's fine. The kids have been arguing a little bit more than usual. I have just had zero motivation and energy. Like, this is very unusual for me. It's lunch, like I gotta make lunch now. The breakfast dishes are still in the sink, dirty. I never leave dirty dishes in the sink for more than like 10 minutes. It's lunchtime. I still haven't cleaned, but we did get out. It's strangely warmer today, but it's really windy. So it actually, once we were outside, it says it was 50 degrees, but I think the wind chill was bringing it back down to like 40 or even lower than that. But we, we tailed it over to the park and, um, spent a little time because the fresh air is important for all of us and it's supposed to be not at all nice tomorrow like 20 degrees and icy no snow my deepest dearest holiday loving heart wants a white christmas but i know it's not happening this year it's just that's just what it is but anyway we are going to get today is a day of preparations um, we, I'm gonna do the dishes and make the lunch, um, and I'm gonna, I haven't wrapped anything. I'm gonna, we're gonna talk a little bit later about all the things I haven't done, but here's the thing. I've been feeling like a little, like I'm dragging a bit today, and it's bringing my mood down, uh, and I don't want it to. So I am leaning into grace today. Grace for myself, grace for others. It's, it, it's just, I mean, we, we got to lean in hard to that this year, right? But uh, especially around the holidays, especially 2020. And it's just, I'm just, I, every time I feel myself getting like a little clenchy, like, ugh, I'm like, no, you know what? We're giving ourselves grace. I'm giving you grace. I'm giving me grace. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it through. So I'm gonna start this midday <laughs> not that i haven't been doing stuff today because i have but i'm going to do all the dishes that's going to feel so much better i'm going to get the kids lunch prepared i'm going to eat something because i have been eating not very well lately i've mainly been eating hot beverages like coffee and tea and the occasional cookie um so we actually didn't really touch the lo mein last night um there was just so much other food so i'm going to eat some of that that's going to feel really good and we're gonna get this party started. Party of th four. Well, Winnie makes one. Hi. How you doing? I feel like we haven't had nearly enough Winnie cameos in this vlogmas. And now it's almost done, so we gotta put some <laughs> Do you see this? This is what she does. She does indoor sunbathing, especially in the cold months. Really particularly in the cold months. She'll find the sunniest sunspot in the house and she'll curl up and sit right there. All right, well, everybody's feeling a little bit better post-lunch. Kids are playing really nicely together. Do, they're doing some sort of um, role-playing about somebody's a mommy and somebody's, I don't know, but they're getting along. I feel better having eaten delicious lo mein. I put some of my leftover peanut tofu on it because that was just a veggie for me. And um, I had some kombucha. <sighs> kombucha has been giving me life lately. So good. You are such a beautiful doggy. Do you know that? I have a voice for Winnie. <laughs> my voice changes for all of my babies in different ways. Winnie has a very specific voice. Are you a good girl? Yes, you are. Look at this baby. I even have a different accent for you. She's so cute. <laughs> I'll show you what Winnie looks like when she knows I'm talking to her. 
Who's a good girl? Is Winnie a good girl? She is. Oh, well, it looks like you have some hair in your mouth. See, that's the story of my life, Mama. Is Winnie good? What do good girls get? Do good girls get cookies? Does Winnie want a cookie? <laughs> Take that as a yes. <laughs> oh, let's go get one. Let's go get a cookie. Come here. That's a good girl. Can you sit? Well, that's not sitting. Can you sit? That's much better. How about some of these? Give me a paw. Good girl. videos this year yet where every time I'm gonna sit down and talk about life as it is right now I have a really freaking enormous mug of hot chocolate with ridiculous exorbitant number of marshmallows in it it's a thing now I'm worried I have like chocolate on my face wouldn't be the first time. Oh my gosh, Sarah, I can't even count how many times I've sat down to an edit and be like, oh, what is in my teeth? What is on my face? What is my hair doing? What, you know, but whatever. Doesn't stop me from keeping that footage in most of the time. Grace. Giving yourself grace. This I woke up, as I said earlier, just like I'm a little grumpy today. I'm a little salty, like I'm a little sassy in a salty way. And it's just been a vibe. And the thing is that underneath that, that's a very fine layer, surface layer of my feeling. What I'm, what the real thing is, is that this kind of sucks. It's kind of awesome in many ways, but it also really sucks in many ways. I love, I'm loving having this first Christmas in this house. It feels so right. I cannot put into words just how good I feel in this home. I knew the moment I stepped in inside of it before I even, you know, put an offer in that it was my home, something inside of me just immediately said yes and it's been a resounding yes 
ever since. And something about Christmas feels like the coziest, homiest time of year in my home, in my, in my life. That's when um, I love my home the most usually. I always love my home, but it, it kind of just really compounds my, my love for my home. And it is so powerful this year. So that's a big yes, like a huge yes of awesomeness. Having my kids with me this week, huge yes of awesomeness. And we, we've just, you know, it, here's one of those things where it's like, yeah, we miss doing the things like going to the shows we go to, going to the dinners we do, doing the family parties we usually do, all of their things at um, school that were canceled this year out of an abundance of caution. You know, there's just things we're missing that we usually do. But on the other hand, it's been really nice to just be and let them be and let me be and let us be together at home without an agenda, without having to go run anywhere. So it's, it's a weird hmm, give or take kind of situation. And I'm trying to just let myself feel the conflicted feelings I have about it and give myself grace for those feelings. And once I let myself really, really process those feelings, um, I don't just shove them under the rug anymore, which I used to do so effectively and efficiently. I let myself feel them for as long as is necessary for them, for me to fully process. And once I feel like I've processed, then I can come around and say, I'm going to make a choice and I'm going to choose to lean in to what brings me joy in this situation. And that is being in this house, and that is being with my kids, and that is not having to run anywhere. Well, it doesn't take away from the fact that I miss those other things, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I just, for me to, to keep a positive feeling about life in general, I just, that's just what I found works for me. What sucks the most is not seeing our family. We were, Originally, you know, way back, supposed to see my brother and his family were supposed to come here for the holidays. I mean, we canceled that a long time ago, but that was the plan for this year. I was supposed to spend Thanksgiving with them in St. Louis. That was canceled this year. Uh, we were supposed to see them at two separate points over the summer. Both of those we had to cancel just because we, you know, we had to prioritize health and safety. And um, so I haven't seen my my brother's family in a very, very long time. My brother and his family, and I miss them. We have like a family Zoom meeting every week, which has actually been one of the amazing things that's come up this year because we saw each other maybe once every couple of months. We didn't really like connect a lot in between. My brother and I text, and me and my um, sister-in-law, uh, Bev, his wife, we text too on a somewhat regular basis, especially in the last, <laughs> In the last year or so with everything going on we've been in more constant um, communication we never really like chatted on the phone or ever facetimed or anything really and now we do that once a week in addition to connecting via text and and messaging and, and stuff like that so that's been a really nice thing because it, it makes me feel like i'm more connected to them even though i haven't been able to see them almost in a whole year i mean it's not been quite that long by some miracle, we saw them at the beginning of March last year, and it was right before, like, the you-know-what hit the fan. And it's just so fortunate that we had that, that, that we were able to do that, cause I, and I'm so grateful for those memories, and that was the last time we were all together. It sucks not spending Christmas time with your family and doing the traditions that you have built together over years. It sucks. It's hard. And I think there's a part of me that is grieving that. And I've been really, you know, consumed with Vlogmas and keeping up with everybody on social media and throwing myself into this workout regimen and my new bike. And, and it's all been great. That's all been really positive and stuff I've really enjoyed, but it's kept me very, very busy. And maybe there's a part of that that's subconsciously intentional because I knew this holiday season was going to be extra hard for many reasons. I mean, there's just been a lot of changes this year for me, uh, for my family, and for all of us, really. 
there are so many things that I would typically be like running around, breaking my neck trying to do. Like, okay, confession time. I did not send out the holiday cards. I've had them for what, like 10 days. Just haven't found the time or the energy to sit down and go do them. And you know what I decided? Instead of like beating myself up or making myself lose sleep over it to do it, I decided they're gonna be New Year's cards. They're not very Christmassy at all. So but I'm just gonna give myself some grace and, and make them New Year's cards and I'll work on them when I have a minute to breathe kind of after the Christmas rush here. And that's fine. And it will be joyful. And then I can enjoy and spend some time writing to everybody, you know, instead of rushing and feeling stressed about it. So I'm giving myself grace there. I haven't wrapped much of anything yet. That's okay too. I haven't delivered all the family's gifts and things yet. That's okay. I decided it's okay if I deliver things on Christmas Eve. It's still Christmas Eve and that's going to be fine. I'm going to make it a fun outing for me and the kids to drop things off. Grace is just something over these next few days that I know I'm going to be leaning into and um, if any of you need to hear that too, well, I hope, I hope it reaches you. Sometimes it's so easy to give grace to everybody but ourselves. I think we can be so hard on ourselves and want to do all the things, especially at the holidays, especially at Christmas time if you celebrate. You want everything to be perfect for your loved ones and that's a beautiful thing. But what your loved ones want is having joyful memories with you. And they don't have to be because of some elaborate dinner or gift or event or whatever you've curated for them. For me, it's letting myself have a breather so I'm not so stressed, so I can just cuddle my kids for an extra minute and play doctor with them, whatever they're into at the moment, and uh, not worry so much about the, the, the things and instead lean into the moments. And that's the, those are the most beautiful gifts I can give myself to this holiday season, especially. So, I'm gonna, I have a few minutes until uh, I gotta get the kids and we are going to swing out to, here's another way I've given myself grace. I have taken cooking an elaborate Christmas Eve dinner off of my plate, literally. And I am picking up a pre-made meal that I just have to cook essentially like in the oven on the stove but everything's done all the work is done <laughs> so we're gonna pick that up for t you know, we're gonna pick that up tonight for tomorrow and also um Cece's birthday cake I'm gonna be celebrating her birthday with her on Sunday and I didn't want the have all the holidays and all of the busyness and then make a cake. It just didn't sound like something I wanted to do this year. Some years, yeah, sure. But this year I was like, nope, I'm going to order that. So I ordered it from my favorite local bakery and um, I let her pick out the, she's really into Zelda still. So we picked out some Zelda, um, the Legend of Zelda uh, cake toppers. And the cake, they've frozen it for me because I'm not, you know, we're not having it for a few days. So we're going to get that. And uh, we're just, I'm probably, honestly, I'm probably gonna make my kids chicken nuggets and easy mac and like frozen broccoli for dinner. Cause that's what I, that's, that's me giving myself grace. <laughs> like that's what they're gonna eat and be so excited about anyway. Is that kind of, you know, kid food or whatever you wanna call it. So yeah, that's what the rest of the day is gonna look like. And I'm letting myself breathe through it. And I'll wrap the rest of the things tomorrow and we'll deliver the rest of the things tomorrow. And I'm not gonna, break my neck cooking another, baking another cookie recipe. We don't need, we already have way more cookies than we could ever consume, just so I could have them. Like I was gonna make the Finskis too, which are delicious, but we don't need them. I certainly don't need to eat any more cookies, she says with her massive mug of hot chocolate. And yeah, I just, this is, this is what giving myself grace looks like. But it's not taking anything away from the people I love. 
And that's something that's taking me a very long time to, to really, really not only see, but adopt. Like to really fully accept that it's not all the stuff that I do for them, it's the joyful moments I participate with them in. And I can only really do that if I'm not stressing over the stuff. This is just me. I'm just sharing me. I'm not saying this is what anybody else's holidays have to look like. It certainly is not what my holidays have always looked like. And, and I've had really great years where I've done all the things and that's given me a lot of love and joy and joyful memories, but not this year. I'm gonna have, drink some of this at least. I'll probably save some for later because I just, it'll take, I have three minutes. I'll check in with you in a little bit. We're gonna go run our errands. So it's a fun car ride to pick up things when there's chips involved, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Try not to judge me. Just, it, it would be nice. But this is the, this is how much energy I have dinner. I know I made for my children. Mac and cheese, steamed broccoli, and uh, chicken nuggets. You guys, dinner's ready. Everybody in this family loves broccoli. Including mm. the pooch. <laughs> Winnie the pooch, yeah. There you go. I need to fill your dish. Why is there a bobby pit over here? Okay, there you go. Oh, yum. These are our current feelings because it's raining. <laughs> Winnie does not like the rain. Doesn't even have to be storming. She still doesn't like it. Makes her nervous. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up here. <sighs> I can't believe it's Christmas Eve this month. Um, felt really, really, really long in both good and less great ways, but here we are. I have thoroughly enjoyed sharing with you this holiday season. It has brought me so much joy and so much light and so much connection, and, and I hope I hope at least some of you feel that too. Uh, it's been it's been a real joy, and like I said, I I do hope to continue posting a bit more in the new year, not seven days a week. <laughs> nope, but um, maybe twice a week. So we'll see we'll see what unfolds with that. So I'm actually not going to film tomorrow, the day that this video is going up, Christmas Eve. I'm not going to film on Christmas Eve because I just right now right. Here and now, in this very moment, of this very year, of this very holiday, I just kind of want to keep tomorrow, Christmas Eve, just for me and my little family. However, I will be posting a video tomorrow. A special video that uh, will take me a bit longer to get up. So I've been uploading these, posting these videos at 9 a.m. every day. It won't be up at 9. It will be up probably mid to late afternoon on Christmas Day. But it should be a fun one, and I'm looking forward to uh, sharing that with you as the last official video of Vlogmas. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support and your comments and your enthusiasm and for laughing with me and being sad with me. I mean, there's just been so many ups and downs in all of our lives uh, this year. But there, the one thing that connects us, we're all facing this new world of uncertainty together because of the pandemic and it's affecting all of us. And I know that it's difficult for everybody in different ways and sometimes in similar ways. But we can and have and will continue to persevere, to find ways to stay connected without putting each other in harm's way, and to choose love and kindness and spreading compassion. You know, it's a choice. And uh, it's not always the easy choice. In fact, most of the time it's not the easy choice. So I commend all of you who you know, really work to do that. It's so important. It has such a ripple effect. And I think we're seeing this year more than ever, at least in my lifetime, how very connected we really are. We are all connected. Nobody is an island. Nobody is truly alone. 
and your actions always affect others, seen or unseen. There's a ripple effect. So let's make it a positive ripple effect as much as we can. I hope that Vlogmas in some way was a positive ripple for you. It was certainly, I felt so much of your love and joy coming back at me. And I, um, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me this holiday season. I will treasure. I, I literally, it's been such a highlight for me. So thank you. I will treasure this, this time we've spent together. And I will look forward to seeing you in the new year. Just a little bit of housekeeping here or whatever, whatever we want to call it. I'm taking next week off of posting and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to take a full blown social media break, break, Blake, no, a social media break, like a complete social media blackout, which I did for the first time back in October and it ended up being a really, really, really good decision for me. It was one of the main reasons that I decided to do Vlogmas because that break re-energized me so much. So I think if I want to come back strong in the new year with more content, which is what I would like. I think an actual full week off is probably in the cards. And I'd like to encourage you to find a way to, to um, cut a little space out for yourself wherever you can, however you can. Um, that might, you know, just be the bit, uh, the deep breath you need, I should say, in order to jump back in in the new year. But I will be back in the new year sharing more and connecting with you and I look forward to it so, so much. So I will see you tomorrow for the last official day of Vlogmas, but again, I just wanted to sit down and say, from my heart to yours, from my home to yours, from my family to yours, thank you. I love you. We're in this together. And we always have been and always will be. And don't forget, you're never alone. You always have a friend in me. I know this is a tough season for so many of us and there's a lot of is isolated moments and feelings and hardships and we are connected. All right, friends, thank you so, so much for watching. Take very, very good care and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. But then I will also see you in the new year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Wishing you a healthy and happy and amazing new year. Bye, you guys. Take very good care.